The opening hole gives you multiple options off the tee. Be sure that your club selection takes the bunker on the right out of play. My advice would be to choose a club that will either come up short of this trap or blow right past it. Big hitters, be careful that you don't drive the ball too far and leave yourself an awkward yardage. Leaving it out to the right will leave the approach blocked by trees. When shooting to the green, don't get sucked into a front right flag. A steady shot to the center of the green is advisable on this hole that demands a more strategic approach than the scorecard may suggest. The water on the right is reachable off the tee with a driver, and for big hitters a three wood. This hazard combined with the out of bounds left makes selecting and committing to a specific line vital to pulling off a tee shot. Starting the ball down the right side of the fairway with a draw or the left edge of the fairway bunker with a fade will both work. Going for the green and two is often a good way to play the hole, but make sure your shot selection accounts for missing left. There is no future to the right side of the green. If you select to lay up, again, the left side is ideal as it opens up the green and avoids having to take on the front right bunkers with your approach. Embrace the challenge of the third. Faced with a long carry over water, then bunkers, make sure you take enough club to carry the hazards. A high lofted shot coupled with landing the ball on the front of the green is the only way to ensure your ball holds the green. The angle of the green and the firmness of the surface can sometimes mean even good shots will make their way to the runoff areas. Pick a good number, go deep into your routine, and accept whatever is thrown your way for the second shot. The fourth hole tells your eye that a booming draw is required off the tee, however this is not always the case. A right to left tee shot is only necessary for longer hitters. If your driver does not have enough power to get past the corner tree on the left, then don't be afraid to play a fade off the tee. It will leave you in a nice position for your second shot, while at the same time moving the ball away from the out of bounds and bunkers on the left. If you came with your A game, feel free to fire at the pin from the fairway. However, if you're left with a longer than desired approach or a tricky lie, you will have the option to fire the ball down the right, landing it short and letting the lay of the land do the rest. Make sure you take enough club to carry the right hand bunker and commit to a line that takes the left bunkers out of play. Statistically, a fade will have a higher chance of finding the fairway. Starting a long iron or three wood at the left bunker and coming up next to or just short of this trap is ideal. However, this tee shot can also be attacked with a draw over the right tree. If you choose the draw route, you will be hitting into a narrower landing zone with bunkers on the right and a runoff area on the left that will throw the ball down towards the water hazard. Landing short of the green often leads to the uphill slope killing the ball's momentum, and to compound the complexity of this approach, the green slopes from front to back. Avoid short siding yourself on the right to a right pin position. A missed green long is no disaster, as you will be faced with a relatively simple chip uphill. Avoid the tree on the right and the out of bounds left, and you will be rewarded with a shorter iron shot. You will also have the luxury of a huge green to fire at. Don't let this reduce your focus. Missing left could mean you are faced with a tough chip with little green to work with, and a missed approach to the right will really test your distance control with the putter. Mind the long miss as well, as there are bunkers that you can't see just over the back of the green. Give this approach shot as much attention as any other, or you may just turn a birdie chance into a bogey. Par 3 that if you miss short or right, you will be taking that lonely walk to the drop zone. Much like the previous par 3, ignore the pin and fire to the middle of the green. Not all greens in regulation are treated equally on hole 7. A putt from above the hole can mean a 5 footer coming back up the hill for par. If your plan to miss the water is to bail out to the left, you may be on dry land, but the rough can swallow up your ball and leave you a tricky chip.
Out of bounds left means a smart play is to fire the ball down the right side and allow it to work its way back to the center. If you want to have a shot at the green in two, make sure you avoid the rough. Sometimes a smart play is to be as aggressive as you can with your second shot as the layup zone is bookended by a hazard right and a bunker left. The closer you get to the green, the larger the room for error. The green is surrounded by rough and bunkers, so exercise caution before attacking a tight pin and be ready to accept the outcome if you make an aggressive decision. There is more room left than it looks, so don't let the out of bounds and the bunkers shift your focus to the trees on the right. Often the toughest part of this hole can follow a big drive. The slope and size of the green can make even a flip wedge approach very difficult. Short sighting yourself to a right pin can quickly lead to a bogey or worse. Hole 10 will play slightly longer than the first hole, but the objective remains the same. Avoid the bunkers on both the right and left of the fairway, and leave yourself a length of shot you feel confident with. Fire to the center of the green, or choose to take on the pin. If unsuccessful in pulling off the approach, don't be surprised if you have a delicate little chip as a result of your attacking decision. A demanding driving hole. Too far right and your ball will find the water. Too far left and you will be blocked out by the trees or worse, go out of bounds. Finding a way to hit the center of the fairway is the priority on this hole. With your second shot, there is no shame in using the bailout area at the front left of the green. Trying to take on a second shot that you may only execute one out of ten times could lead to a big number on this long par four. With hazards down both sides of the hole, you have to be mentally strong enough to resist firing at pins. This lengthy and visually intimidating par 3 requires commitment to a line that will take the ball to the center of the green. The green tends to be hard, so allow for the ball releasing when selecting your club. Do not be tricked into thinking you need to smash your tee shot 280 yards to be successful on this par 5. Due to the shape, length, and design of the hole, even the longest hitters will find themselves laying up more often than not. A strategy that leads you to a comfortable yardage on your third shot will allow you to leave the green with nothing more than par. With just over 300 yards to the front of the green, this hole can tempt big hitters to have a go at driving the green. But beware, the landing zone for this aggressive play slopes left to the lagoon and there are trees and bunkers on the right. If you select this shot, be fully committed and engaged with your target. If in doubt, lay up and take on the challenge of getting the ball to stop on a green that slopes front to back.
A short par four toward the end of your round can often lead to a change in mindset. Don't try and force a score because the green and bunkers are designed to catch you out of focus. The green slopes left to right and front to back, so attempts to get close to pins on the screen often lead to a sand save being required from the front right trap. Accept that the ball finishing left of the pin is inevitable, and don't try to be a hero as the clubhouse draws closer. This hole is a longer, more intimidating version of the par 3 7th, but actually very little changes other than the club you'll use. Play smart by ignoring pins and do what you need to do to get the ball into the center of the green. Taking too much club will once again leave a downhill putt back toward water that tends to be quite quick. Go longer than the fringe of the green and some tricky rough means you have a fast downhill chip that you may struggle to control. Back tees, a long drive is desirable, as the shorter the club you can hit into this hole, the better. If you are left with a long iron, the bunker short of the green will come into play. If you have a longer club in your hand, a high lofted shot is required to hold the green. A ball that rolls off the back will find yet another hidden bunker with a deep face. A lengthy par 4 off the back tee and shortish par 5 off the front tees to finish. Avoiding the fairway bunkers off the tee is vital. The professional miss with the approach to the green is short left as the rough is cut back and this side of the fairway will funnel the ball to the green. Once again, be careful not to short side yourself on the right side.